Is your body trying to tell you that you need more dopamine? Not sure? Do you feel lethargic and unmotivated to get out of bed? Do you have trouble remembering what you just read? Then you might be dopamine deficient. Dopamine is your concentration, motivation, and pleasure molecule. It makes you feel kind of invincible. This neurotransmitter is crucial for your brain. Identifying the dopamine dip and boosting its levels can improve focus and attention. It will also help to improve your mood and creativity, help to foresee problems, and control impulses. But unlike popular belief, you can raise dopamine levels without turning to salacious means or drugs. In today's video, let's discuss numerous safe methods to raise dopamine levels naturally. Can drinking coffee be a double-edged sword? Is exercising a natural brain booster? What modifications do experts recommend in the diet? We're discussing all of this and more. Start by getting enough shut-eye. If you're struggling to get enough sleep, it could significantly contribute to poor mental health. Make an effort to get at least seven hours of deep restorative sleep each night. It can naturally regulate your dopamine levels. The dopamine molecule needs to bind with dopamine receptors. These are the brain molecules that make dopamine available to the body. Dopamine receptors are exceptionally delicate, and studies have shown getting too little sleep can damage or kill them. The dopamine receptors available in people's brains the morning after an all-nighter dramatically diminishes. Here's how it happens. Dopamine produces alertness. Its levels naturally decrease in the evening when it's time to go to bed and increase in the morning when it's time to wake up. But sleep deprivation throws off this biological rhythm. The dopamine receptors in a person's brain the morning after being forced to stay awake all night are significantly reduced. The sensitivity of dopamine receptors also decreases and makes you tired with sluggish coordination. So never skimp on that precious sleep. Stepping out in the sunlight is equally important. Exposing yourself to daylight can be the easiest way to increase dopamine levels. Sunlight can promote the release of dopamine. Doing this every morning will establish your circadian rhythm. But be sure to walk outside without contact lenses, eyewear, or sunglasses. That way you'll get a tremendous dopamine rush. Your skin produces vitamin D, a fat-soluble vitamin, when exposed to sunlight. According to research, 50% of people may be at risk for vitamin D deficiency, which causes low levels of dopamine. But therapy with vitamin D3 can boost dopamine release. Summer and spring are the times when this method can work well, but once the sunlight is scarce in winter, you can choose a vitamin D sun lamp or take a supplement. The next thing you might want to do in the morning is grab a cup of coffee. Yes, you heard that right. Millions of people worldwide begin their day with a cup of coffee or other caffeinated brews like tea. One cup can enhance the production of dopamine and its bioavailability. You can have a cup of coffee in the morning before you hit the gym, but limit your caffeine intake after 3 p.m. It can disrupt your sleep and lower dopamine. Having caffeinated drinks like soda and even green tea close to bedtime can disturb dopamine production. A noteworthy tip is that once you reach the dopamine high with coffee, your dopamine levels start to drop. If you enjoy the energetic feeling after a cup of coffee, you could get used to it, which might lead to a caffeine addiction. So remember, moderation is the key. Next up, hack the happiness hormone by staying active. Exercising is one of the best ways to maintain excellent physical and mental form. Working out is a healthy strategy to raise your brain's dopamine levels. Numerous studies demonstrate that regular exercise boosts dopamine neurotransmission, including dopamine release, receptor expression, and binding. Exercising slows down dopamine breakdown. It can even enhance the blood supply to the brain. Parkinson's disease is usually brought on by the loss of dopamine-producing cells, thereby leading to dopamine malfunction. But dopamine-boosting workouts may benefit people with Parkinson's and other neurological illnesses, including Alzheimer's, dementia, or substance addiction disorders. A study found that Parkinson's patients who exercised on a treadmill had more dopamine receptors in their brains. Do you find exercise to be a major task? Then select a sport or an aerobic activity that you like. It won't bore you and you'll continue to work out. Do you take a cold shower after you're done working out? It will streamline dopamine. A cool shower can help reduce your body temperature. On other days when you're not working out, you can finish your regular bath with a chilly blast of water. Start with a minute in cold water, then increase the length of time gradually. Surprisingly, research shows showering in 57 degrees Fahrenheit can significantly boost dopamine levels by up to 250%. This practice is more effective than drinking coffee. Proponents of cold showers claim they improve their mood and productivity throughout the day. 
You can naturally raise your dopamine levels by exposing yourself to the cold. That's why occasionally venturing outside in the winter without wearing many layers can help a few. However, don't go to an extreme. You can immerse your hands, feet, or face in ice water for a minute or two. It can be a little uncomfortable, but ultimately the positive outcomes are worthwhile. Find what suits you best and do it frequently. Looking for a fun way to stimulate dopamine release? Listen to music. Non-medical approaches like listening to music can control mood and emotional reactions. Some people even experience behavioral and neurological changes which delight them. Listening to music might lower cortisol, elevate oxytocin, and help your body make more dopamine. All these hormones are excellent for brain health. Make a playlist of some of your favorite songs. It can come in handy when you feel unmotivated or listless. It triggers the pleasure regions of the brain and gets you going. Do you want to go one step further? Begin composing music. Creating and performing music increases dopamine levels much more than just listening to it. Music therapy may even help Parkinson's patients. Scientists have found music to improve fine motor skills of such patients. So put on a pair of headphones and crank up the volume of your favorite tune. Moving along, calm your mind with a bit of meditation. Don't be hesitant, as meditation doesn't require you to follow a specific set of rules. It's a deeply personal practice that allows you to focus on your inner self. People who meditate regularly have a clearer mindset. There's no wrong way to meditate. You can do it while standing, sitting, or even while you're moving around. Consistently practicing meditation can be linked to better mental and physical health. But if you are overwhelmed, start small and build it up slowly. Begin with five minutes a day for a week. It's more about what you can and want to do. Eventually, you'll be able to do it for a longer time. According to a recent study, eight seasoned meditation teachers experienced a surge in dopamine production by 65% after meditating for just an hour. Meditation can genuinely help you maintain a good outlook and motivation. So when are you setting some time aside for your first meditation session? Next, take a closer look at your diet. Fatty food could be the reason for you feeling terrible all the time. It can be challenging to distinguish good fat from unhealthy fat. Saturated or unhealthy fat is a staple of animal-based foods like butter, cheese, yogurt, and meats. They are necessary only in moderate quantities. Consuming a lot of saturated fat might elevate cholesterol and increase your heart disease or stroke risk. Additionally, some experts speculate that diets high in saturated fat may cause the body to become more inflammatory, changing how the dopamine system functions. That's why it's crucial to eat a nutritious diet. It can increase dopamine levels and overall health. While focusing on dopamine-boosting foods, include almonds, eggs, salmon, and poultry in your diet. They're rich in protein and contain a unique amino acid called tyrosine. Your body requires this chemical to make dopamine molecules. Alternate between these foods and probiotics like yogurt and kefir. They contain natural bacteria that can increase the production of dopamine. Lastly, a few supplements can take your mental health a long way. Several natural supplements boost levels of neurotransmitters in different ways. One of the popular supplements is the curcumin supplement. This bioactive compound is found in turmeric. The dopamine levels in the brain increase because this compound can easily penetrate the blood-brain barrier. Research has shown curcumin to be just as good as treating depression as antidepressant pills, but it's difficult for your body to absorb curcumin on its own. Just make sure to buy a supplement that includes pepperin. This compound in black pepper can impressively boost curcumin absorption by 2,000%. Secondly, consume enough magnesium. Many people experience the unpleasant side effects of magnesium deficiency. This crucial mineral is involved in 300 distinct metabolic processes in your body. Additionally, it is essential for healthy neurotransmitter function. Supplemental magnesium may have antidepressant properties. You can give omega-3 fatty acid supplements a shot too. If you're on a plant-based diet, getting this essential nutrients from plants alone is difficult. Although it is in nuts and seeds, oily fish is the primary source of omega-3s. Researchers observed that when they administered omega-3 fatty acids to mice in one study, the animals' brains had 40% more dopamine than those of the control animals. It's also a fantastic idea to add ginkgo biloba to your daily stash of supplements. This ingredient is part of many brain supplements. It's been used for thousands of years to address medical issues. It promotes blood flow to the brain, which improves memory, boosts mental acuity, and lowers your risk of developing dementia or Alzheimer's. Remember that it's always a good idea to get the doses of the supplements calibrated from your healthcare provider. It will vary from person to person depending on the physical and mental status. Your brain is the control center of the body. It needs quality, nutritious food to function optimally. But why do we keep feeding it with junk when there's so many superfoods? 
Check out these top 10 superfoods for your brain or nine best foods to boost your brain function and memory. Go ahead, click one or better yet watch both and learn which tasty foods can prevent brain aging. What natural methods would you try for that dopamine rush? Let us know in the comments below.